Joe Martz uh, signed up first. He'll begin our evening. And uh, Dave Clark uh, will follow Joe. So thank you very much and good evening. Uh, my name is Joe Martz. Uh, I'm a plutonium scientist at Los Alamos, speaking tonight as a private citizen. I have spent a part of my career engaged with the technical challenges of nuclear weapon dismantlement, specifically pits. I support the preferred alternative proposed here. A portion of the work under the preferred alternative will be conducted at Los Alamos, much of it by my colleagues. I know these men and women, and they are truly exceptional, many of them having devoted decades to ensuring the safe and environmentally responsible dismantlement of pits. Los Alamos uniquely possesses the expertise, along with the facility and capability, to ensure the safe recovery of plutonium from pits. I also support the recommendation that excess plutonium be used in the production of mixed uranium plutonium oxide fuel, also known as MOX for use in nuclear power production. I note that this is the only alternative among those proposed which truly destroys the plutonium, rendering it unusable for weapons. I would like to offer one piece of constructive criticism with respect to the supplement of EIS. In both your public presentation and in the EIS itself, you reference the risk due to radiation exposure in the form of latent cancer fatalities, or LCFs. You state that the preferred alternative will result in between zero and some small number of latent cancer fatalities, between one and four. I have reviewed the EIS and carefully listened to public comments from prior hearings regarding this issue of latent cancer fatalities. I have obtained and read the supporting references for these statistics, and I suggest that your use of LCFs is taken out of context of the intended use. The LCF number is based upon a recommendation that for comparative risk assessment, a figure of 0 0.0006 cancer fatalities be used for each person rim of radiation exposure. And I know that's a lot of small numbers. For illustrative purposes, this number can be used to calculate the number of latent cancer fatalities due to naturally occurring radiation in both New Mexico and the United States. This number predicts approximately 560 cancer deaths per year in New Mexico and 60,000 cancer deaths per year in the United States as a whole. These per year numbers compare to the predicted zero to one latent cancer fatalities over the entire duration of the work under the supplemental EIS. Critically, these LCF statistics entail many assumptions and simplifications, a thorough discussion of which would take far more time than I have tonight. The source reference in the supplemental EIS recommends use of this number only for comparative risk assessment. You have presented LCF statistics as absolute numbers. A more accurate statement would be that there is no appreciable difference in risk due to radiation exposure among all the listed alternatives, including the no action alternative. Thank you for providing this opportunity to comment on a critical proposal of relevance to all of us here in New Mexico. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, Dave Clark is next, and Charles Bowman will be after you. Good evening. My name is David Clark, and I'm a scientist at Los Alamos National Laboratory. Uh, I'm here tonight as a citizen as, and as a scientific expert on matters related to plutonium to say that I support the preferred alternative for disposition. Now I say that because as a scientist I worry that there's well over 2,000 metric tons of plutonium throughout the world in various different forms. Regardless of your views on how that situation came to be, it's clear that these large inventories must be prudently managed for many centuries and we must secure it against theft and diversion. The US and Russia have agreed to dispose of 68 metric tons of weapons usable plutonium as an essential step in reducing the global nuclear danger. Better still, the NNSA proposes to convert seven metric tons of plutonium that's currently in weapons 
in the plutonium oxide and MOX as part of this plan. Surely, we can all agree that destruction of excess pits is a positive development for the country.